All right, good morning, friends. It's time for the hands-free drive to work because in Georgia, it's illegal to touch your phone while you drive and it would be unsafe to do so anyway. So all you have to do is just press play as you drive into work this morning. And we're gonna talk about some things that'll help us steer ourselves through the weeds of work. We're gonna talk about some things that help us make the next wise move as we work ourselves through our day because you know this you have to there's not somebody walking behind you leading you through every step of the day so you have to learn to lead yourself every book that you read on leadership will make this concession before you learn to lead others you have to learn how to lead yourself and so when we're talking about work and leading ourselves what we've been learning for the last few days is that a met need necessarily precedes any profits or incentives that come back to me. And so what I think we need today, what I think we need just to keep on going in that direction, we need a new equation for success. We need a new equation for success because right now, you know this, if you've watched any kind of self-help or read any uh, you know, leadership books, a lot of things that you hear right now is how to 10X your life. How do we 10X our life? And, and, and before we talk about equations, we really kind of need to think about uh, what are those variables? The X, what does, that, what does that mean when you say 10X? And you remember this from uh, geometry or algebra. You know, you, if I said 2X plus one, uh, 2X plus one equals five, then in that equation, you can figure out, okay, what, what does X equal? 2x plus 1 equals 5, then x equals, I'm not going to tell you, you just have to, you have to know this. Uh, that, that would be the variable in the equation. And so if, if we're going to do the same thing in our work, if, if 10x were to be the thing that guides us through our work, I'm not, I don't think, I think there's a better equation, it's coming. But if 10x were the thing that, that guides us through our work, then what is x? 10x equals success then what's the variable X? And a lot of times right now, uh, again, the X equals, when we say we want to 10X our lives, that's the uh, house that we can buy that's bigger or the cars that we can buy that's bigger and better and um, you know more things that we can have. Most often when people refer to 10Xing their life or you know growing by 10X, they're saying we're going to make our business bigger, we're going to make our profits bigger, we're going to make our incentives bigger. But what we're saying is if we work ourselves that way in the, in the day to day, and again, let, let me just say for an aside, I hope every one of us 10X our lives. It's incredible. I hope we all make more money than we can spend. The, what I'm trying to get at is that when we guide ourselves through the weeds of work, if we don't remember that a net need necessarily precedes any profits or incentives, then what we'll, we will get off track. We'll be like, uh, I was putting a, uh, a toy together that my girls got for Christmas or something recent. Uh, they got a toy and I'm putting it together and my neighbor walks over and he goes, he said, Hey, what are you doing? You know, I'm putting this together so the girls can play with it. And he said, yeah, you're probably doing like I do. He said, you're probably uh, going to put it together. And then after you put it together, look at the instructions. And think about this, if you did that, if you put a, an entire, if you went through that entire process, uh, like he said to me, if you put the whole thing together and then went back and looked at the instructions, what if you got all the way to the end and you said, you know, they can play with this right now, but it's just a little wobbly. And I don't really understand why. I don't understand what exactly is going on. You know, it, it kind of doesn't have the structure and the stability that I want it to have. Then if I look back and realized, Sorry, sharp turn. If I look back and realize that I skipped step two, and it was just a small step maybe, but if I skip step two, and I realize that I'm, um, while I'm putting this toy together, I skip step two, and I just have to go back and kind of recreate everything and go all the way back to step two, or I'll just have kind of a, it, it's a usable structure, but it's not all it was meant to be. Do you see what I'm saying? And sometimes I wonder if that's what we do. We, you know, we've been doing the, a project or we've been working in a job for a long time. And, and maybe we just didn't lead ourselves as if a met need precedes profits or incentives. Maybe we skip that step. And that's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get us to change the way we think about our work because I know we'll never act differently until we decide differently. We'll never decide differently until we think differently. 
And so that's what we're doing right now. We want a new equation to be able to think differently while we work. And that new equation is just simply 10y plus x. Instead of thinking about when we lead ourselves to our work, instead of thinking about 10xing our life, what if we started to think about in ter it in terms of 10y plus x? And again, you have to de de define the, the variables. Excuse me. You have to define the variables. And when you define the variables in 10y plus x, then x actually does equal the same thing when we're trying to 10x our lives. So x equals the profits and incentives that come back to me. That always is in the equation. Without profits, we can't, we can't continue to build our business. Without profits, there's no way that we can invest in new equipment. So yeah, of course, profits. I'd, I'd really, we do have to provide for our families. So profits are important. But as we guide ourselves through the weeds of work, what if we changed it from 10x to 10y plus x? And why then? Why? Your why. Pun intended. Your why becomes the needs of the people your work was actually meant to serve. So when you multiply the needs met by 10, if you 10y plus x your life as you steer yourself through the weeds of work, if that becomes the thing that guides you as you move yourself today, as you decide what is my next wise move, as you lead yourself, if that becomes the equation that we live by, now we make sure that every move we make is to, is to accomplish that purpose. The why of our lives becomes, or excuse me, the why of our work becomes to meet the needs of the people my work actually is there to serve. Think about the difference in, in in me as an insurance professional. So if if I you it's really easy to see with me. It's really easy to see with me, but sometimes it's hard harder to see with, you know, if you're a physician or if you're a, a in the medical world, if you're a, a teacher. So if you know this, if I go today and I talk to somebody about their insurance and I talk I tell them or talk them into a product that really is because I, I do it and I guide myself by the 10x principle. I sell them that product so that ultimately I can get profits or incentives so that things, you know, come back to me so that I can take my family on a trip or so that I can do whatever. So you know that, that you don't want to be sold a product that way. You do not want me to sell you something. You would never want me to sell you a product that, that really the reason that I'm doing it is so that I can 10x my life. You want me to sell you a product that's going to help you and your family. In every job, in every workplace, it's the exact same. It's the exact same in every workplace. If today uh, somebody in the medical will, world heals, goes, goes after the healing of their patients, if they make decisions as a, on a daily basis of how do I make sure that the people around me experience true healing, that is way different. They'll, they'll go about their job, that their productivity, their engagement will be different than if they go about their work thinking, how do I 10X my life? If a teacher today, if, if a teacher says, you know what, here's the purpose of my work, it's to educate young minds. That's why I'm here. They'll, they'll begin to lead themselves in a much different way than if they think, well, this is my job and I just have to do it because if I don't, then I won't get paid and I won't get to keep my house. What a massive difference in the way we work. If you, if you were to drive a truck today from A to B, and that's my job, if I began to lead myself through the weeds of work and the frustrating things that happen around me because I, need, I'm just, I have to be here, and if I don't go from A to B, then I'm not going to get paid, I'm not going to get my check. Uh, or if you said, you know, why, do, why does this rock need to go from A to B? What are we actually trying to accomplish here? Then every person you speak to today, they're going to actually, they're going to be able to tell the difference in the way that you work compared to all the other people they run into on a daily basis. Man, if we, if we did this, if we started to live our lives by this new equation for success, 10x equals success, I'm down with it. But before, before we get to that, we have to precede. We have to meet needs before we worry about profits and incentives. So let's lead ourselves through the weeds of work today.
focused on this equation that changes the way we think. 10y plus x is what equals success. Will you do that with me?